Let us now discuss the scenario where n numbers are given. So n is odd. Here all the numbers are getting repeated even number of times except one integer value. So let's say 7, 6, 8, 6, 8, 5, 7 is the, are there. So here we have 7. n is equal to 7 values are there. Here 7 is repeating twice that is even number of times. 6 is also repeating twice. 8 is repeating twice. Only 5 is not repeating twice. So the program must print 5 as the output. Let's consider one more example. We are having n is equal to 11. So we have 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 4, 4, 5, 7, 7, 5. So here 4 is occurring even number of times. And then 2 is also occurring even number of times. 7 is also occurring even number of times. 5 is also occurring even number of times. Only 6 is not occurring even number of times. It is just occurring once. So 6 must be printed as the output. So how are we going to do that easily? So we can make use of exclusive OR or ZOR operator. So what we can do is we can XOR all the values. So initially we will be having a value called sum. So sum will be 0. So with 0, first you are going to XOR 7. So 0, 0, 0, 7, it is 1, 1, 1. So it will give you 1, 1, 1. Because the truth table for XOR is 0, 0 means 0, 1, 1 means 0, 0, 1 or 1, 0 means 1 if different bits. Okay. So the sum currently will be 7. Now with this you are going to XOR 6. So 6 is nothing but 1, 1, 0. So when you XOR 0, 0, 1. So this is 1. So sum will be 1. Now you are coming to 8. So with 0, 0, 1 you are going to XOR 8. So 8 is nothing but 1, 0, 0, 0. And with that you are going to XOR 1. So this will be 1, 0, 0, 1, which is nothing but 9. So now you are coming to 6. Again you are going to do the XOR. 1, 1, 0. So here 0 will be there. So you get 1, 1, 1, 1, which is nothing but 15. Okay, so you get 15. Now you are coming to 8. So with this you are going to XOR 8. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So we'll get 0, 1, 1, 1, which is nothing but 7. So now you are going to XOR 5. So 5 is 1, 0, 1. And here you have 0. So it is 0, 0, 1, 0, which is nothing but 2. So now finally you are going to do an XOR with 7. So 7 is 1, 1, 1. So here 0, 0, 1, and here 0 and here 1. So this is nothing but 5. So now when we are doing an XOR of all the values, you are ultimately getting the value which is not repeating odd no even number of times. That is repeating odd count. So what is the fundamental principle be beyond that? Because XOR operator cancels same bits. So when 7 and 7 are XOR, they will cancel. 6, 6, they will cancel. 8, 8, they will cancel. So ultimately only the bits of 5 will be remaining. That is how you will get the value. So here too, when you are doing 4, 4, this will cancel, 4, 4, this will cancel, 2, 2, this will cancel, and then 5, 5 will cancel, 7, 7 will cancel. So ultimately 6 will be left. So let us implement this in C program. So now we are going to accept n integers. So first we will accept n. So we will say result that is the number which is repeated odd number of times is equal to 0. So now we will have a loop int counter is equal to 1 counter less than or equal to n. 
the loop will be repeating for n times. So you are going to accept an input value percentage %d. We will say current val. So we will declare current val here. Okay. So now after accepting the current val, we need to XOR result equal to result XOR current val. So finally, when you come out of the loop, you can print the result. So the result will contain the value which is occurring odd number of times. So let us execute the program. So here we are going to give seven input values, two, three, two, then five, three, six, six. So here the output must be five because five is not repeating even number of times. So based on our discussion, please try out this program and thanks for watching.